Welcome to the sweet world of the $67 billion sugar industry. Did you know that in the United States, 60% of sugar comes from sugar beets, while the rest comes from sugar cane? These two sources of sugar require completely different climate conditions. Join us as we explore how sugar cane and sugar beets are harvested, processed, and transformed into the pure white sugar crystals we love every day. One man, one operation. You're ripping and rotary hoeing in one. Green sugar cane fields. Today we will glide through the high-tech process of sugar cane cultivation. It all starts with careful land selection, well-drained and fertile soil, to ensure the sugar cane grows strong. After planting the cuttings, the sugar cane not only relies on rainfall and irrigation systems along the coastal plains, but is also nurtured by modern soil moisture monitoring technology. These advanced devices help precisely control the necessary water levels, ensuring the sugar cane always receives enough moisture to grow quickly and prepare for a bountiful harvest in the coming months. Technology and nature, a perfect combination for making Australian sugar cane even sweeter. And now we enter the sugar cane harvesting phase in Queensland, running from June to December, when the two-year-old sugar cane fields are ready. In the past, the tradition of burning sugar cane was common in Australia. So do you know why burning sugar cane was widely used back then? Did it have any special benefits? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what everyone thinks about this traditional method. With the continuous development of technology, many modern farms have started to transition to harvesting sugar cane using advanced cutting machines without the need to burn the cane beforehand. These machines not only provide rapid harvesting speed, but also contribute to environmental protection by leaving the leaves on the field. This layer of leaves helps retain moisture in the soil and provides natural nutrients, forming a cover that improves soil quality. Modern sugar cane cutters are designed to optimize the harvesting process with the ability to cut and collect sugar cane accurately and efficiently. These machines move effortlessly through the sugar cane fields, cutting mature cane and neatly collecting it without damaging the surrounding crops. Australia proudly holds the third position in the global sugar market rankings, being the third largest exporter of raw sugar in the world. Notably, 80% of Australia's sugar production is exported to international markets, demonstrating the importance of the sugarcane industry in this country on a global scale. After being cut into sections, the sugarcane pieces are loaded onto large transport trucks, ready to be taken to the sugar mill. 
It's a quick and efficient process that helps Australia's sugarcane harvesting industry continue to thrive. When the sugar cane arrives at the mill, the processing begins with the removal of dirt, rocks, and leaves. The cane is transported on a conveyor belt and washed thoroughly under powerful water jets before being crushed into smaller pieces in the grinder. The sweet juice inside the cane is extracted through multiple grinders, where the cane fibers are pressed to maximize water removal. After extraction, the sugarcane juice is processed through a 10-meter tall tower where sulfur dioxide gas is sprayed to preserve it and inhibit microorganisms. Next, lime powder is added to the juice, helping to adjust the pH and clarify the liquid. Impurities are removed and the remaining sludge can be used as fertilizer for the sugarcane fields. The pure juice is boiled in evaporators to reduce the water content and increase the sugar concentration. After that, the juice is processed in a clarifying tank to remove the final impurities. The resulting syrup mixture will undergo a crystallization process where sucrose crystals are added to initiate the growth of sugar crystals. Finally, the sugar crystals are separated from the uncrystallized syrup in a centrifuge, and the raw sugar is dried to achieve a purity level of 97 to 99%. The final product is automatically packaged into two kilogram plastic bags, ready for the market. It's a closed, modern, and efficient process to produce high quality sugar for consumers. After learning about the sugar production process from sugarcane, we will now turn to sugar beets, another important raw material in the US. From harvesting fresh beets to the washing, crushing, and extraction of sweet juice, let's explore how these beets transform into the pure white sugar crystals we use every day. Everything begins in spring when the fields awaken from their winter slumber and are prepared for planting. Nothing is left to chance. Each year, farmers work with their crop consultants to determine which beet variety will grow best in each location. Results from ongoing tests help identify the best variety for each site. Sugar-rich beets require a balanced nutrient supply. By conducting regular soil tests, farmers can check if the soil has sufficient potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Once the soil has the right composition, the beet fields are precisely sown by machine. One hectare of land can hold up to 100,000 beet plants. It doesn't look demanding, but beets are quite picky. They need nutrient-rich soil and adequate moisture, which they can extract from deep in the ground thanks to their long tap roots. Beets thrive in moderate temperatures and plenty of light. Without sunlight, the beet cannot produce any sugar.
In the green leaves of the beet, sunlight converts carbon dioxide from the air, along with water and nutrients from the soil into sucrose. The beet stores this sugar as an energy reserve in its roots. About 20% of the beet's body contains sugar, and it also generates oxygen, with one hectare providing enough oxygen for 100 people to breathe for a whole year. The autumn beet harvest marks the start of the beet campaign. Depending on the yield, this campaign can last about four months. Harvesting, transporting, and processing the beets are all precisely scheduled, running continuously around the clock. Large-scale, high-tech beet harvesters gently remove the leaves and lift the beets from the ground with minimal damage. After harvesting, the sugar beets are collected in large warehouses at the factory. From there, each batch of sugar beets is gradually transferred to the production line. Everything operates on a precise schedule, ensuring a continuous flow of sugar production. During the campaign, all sugar factories operate nonstop around the clock. Each sugar plant has its own power and water supply, its own wastewater treatment plant, and its own kiln. Here, limestone is fired to produce milk of lime, which is used to extract non-sugar substances from the juice. These non-sugar substances are used to make caro lime, a popular fertilizer and soil conditioner used in agriculture. The process at the factory is mainly automated. Sugar beets are unloaded and transported by conveyor belt to the washing area, where they are washed in rotating drums. The beets are then taken to the slicer, 
where sharp blades chop the beets into sweet little slices. The journey continues through the slice mixer into the extraction tower, where sugar is released from the plant cells at a water temperature of about 70 degrees Celsius to produce raw juice. The raw juice contains about 18% sugar and needs to be filtered to remove impurities. Lime milk and carbon dioxide are added to large tanks, and the juice is then filtered through multiple stages, resulting in a clear, bright yellow juice. To transform it into pure white sugar, we boil the juice through several stages, producing a concentrated syrup with 67% sugar content. The concentrated syrup continues to evaporate at low pressure, and we add seed crystals to initiate the crystallization process. The sugar crystals grow and are still covered in yellow syrup. They are then spun in a centrifuge to separate the syrup, resulting in pure sugar granules. The white color of the sugar comes from light passing through the transparent crystals. Finally, the sugar is dried, cooled, and stored in silos. Wow, that's impressive. A closed production process with strict quality standards shows dedication in every step of processing. These pure sugar products not only serve the industry, but also every family kitchen. If you enjoyed this tour, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for following and see you soon.